Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a really cool combination that I just thought of yesterday. So yesterday I made a video talking about seed boxes. I kind of talked about rapid seed box, that's the seed box I like to use, and some of the cool things you can do on it. The video is doing pretty well, and if you haven't checked it out, check it out on the channel where I talk about why you might want to get a seed box in 2023. But I was discussing something with someone on Discord and I also got a comment. One reason people are skeptical of using seed boxes is because they feel like they can't trust the seed box provider. A seed box is essentially a virtual computer or storage kind of system or a VPS where you can torrent store files there and kind of have all the torrenting take place on the seed box. Some of the benefits include like having that external storage that doesn't fill up your own computer. It got a, it's going to download torrents really quickly because they have fast internet and then you can stream it directly to any server or Plex at your own home or download it to your computer. So one of the cons there though, is that you're kind of trusting the seed box provider in terms of DMCA's and stuff like that if it does happen. Now I've seen Reddit posts where Rapid Seedbox says specifically that they will kind of take the DMCA. Let me find one of the posts actually. So this is a thread I found from like six years ago. Um, there's kind of a lot of different information. Some people say don't use public trackers, only use private. Of course, you know, private trackers are hard to get a hold of. This guy says the seed box is secure. You will no suffer no consequences. You won't get ISP strikes. Um, um, and basically there's some people saying, you know, the, the seed box is going to get the DMCA and they may tell you to delete the file, but you're not really going to get any notices or something like that. I've seen even a comment from rapid seed box saying that, but I can't really find it right now for this video. Um, but that's kind of how it works. So there is kind of that concern with seed boxes that people have, you know, if they get a DMCA and they send it to you, you could get in trouble or something like that. I think what will happen is legally they will send you the DMCA, ask you to delete the file, but the uh, company at hand is never going to get your personal information or ISP. So that is at least good. However, a lot of people feel more paranoid and they want additional security and they feel that a seed box might not be the way to do it for that reason. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, a solution I have to that and how to do it. Basically, what we're going to be doing is combining the power of a proxy with a seed box. And this is something that's really cool. So yesterday when I talked about the seed box, this is my recommended seed box provider, Rapid Seed Box. You can find a link in the description down below that will give you 35% off. Um, and you will be able to check out Rapid Seed Box with that link. I'll get a small cutback but I'm not sponsored. I don't work for this company. It's just an affiliate partner like several others I have here on the channel. I usually can become an affiliate for any service out there if I like it and I do like this one. So guys, if you're interested, check that out. Um, but what we're talking about more specifically is a very interesting pairing. So when we go into Rapid Seedbox, it's pretty cool. I have all these different services automatically set up and we have something called Deluge. Now, pretty much what this is, is a torrent client on the seed box and it's cool. It's like in the browser. So we're just basically going to copy my password. We just copy it like this, enter it in here and we're logged into our torrent client. Um, as you can see here, there already is a Linux ISO downloaded. Um, so what happens is with a seed box is let's say you download something right here on the seed box and whoever's monitoring this um, kind of torrent file, they see that IP, they would then contact Rapid Seedbox and that's how you could get the DMCA. But there's another way of doing this so the Seedbox provider itself doesn't get contacted. Let's say you trust a different company more than Rapid Seedbox, something like TorGuard VPN, a company that has refused to give any logs up on users, refused to give any DMCAs, even went to court to prove it and did not give anything away. That's really cool. TorGuard uses Canadian and Mexico servers and stuff like that. Hey, get out of here! to kind of bypass some of these restrictions enforced by that court order. In order to avoid giving away information, they said they would stop traffic uh, for torrents in USA, but you can still use Canada servers and stuff like those and they work perfectly fine. So guys, basically what we're gonna do is combine the power of a seed box, the convenience factor of being able to torrent online, have external storage in the cloud, the power of it with the power of a proxy. So guys, how do you do this and which search should you use? Well. 
another VPN like I was talking about, the one that went to court to prove they were not gonna give away any information on users, TorGuard VPN. Now TorGuard VPN has many different services. They include premium proxies for people outside the US. If you're trying to unblock some firewalls and you'll see that in the anonymous proxy plan. However, their core VPN plan does include access to SOX5 proxy. They include it within and it's um, included with all the plans. It's $5 a month and $30 a year with promo code TOMSPARK2022. So all you need to do is get the main package here and you'll get a Soxfire proxy included. Not only that, but TorGuard even has directions to do this. So pretty much what we're gonna do is follow these directions exactly. We're gonna pretty much put the proxy and address, as you can see here, into, into our seed box um, torrent thing. So once we put the proxy in here, all we do is click apply, okay. And now anytime anyone's moderating, this torrent application that's downloading things, they're gonna see TorGuard SOX5 proxy IP. So they're not even gonna be able to see you're using a seed box, um, Rapid Seed Box, or the IP from Rapid Seed Box from their data center. They're gonna see TorGuard SOX5 proxy. So basically what's happening is you have your real IP, Rapid Seed Box IP, and then a TorGuard proxy. It's like two layers of additional security. So I think this is pretty cool. I haven't really seen too many people talk about this. It combines the convenience and power of a seed box with the security and um, kind of paranoia involved when trusting a VPN service combined to make an ultimate solution. What are the downsides of this? Well, you're gonna have to pay for both things. So that is kind of a thing with Rapid Seed Box. You could get it for around $30 a month if you pay for the yearly plan, which is gonna be around $260 a year which is pricey, but again, you're basically renting a computer with 10 gigabit per second internet, which is gonna download stuff crazy fast. If you factor in the cost of a really good internet speed from your ISP, that's gonna be like $100 a month in most places. So honestly, it's a pretty good deal, especially if you have slow internet and you have some spare change, this is not bad. Additionally, you get 35% off of my link in the description, which is gonna cut that down even more. So with TorGuard added on another $30 a year, or if you purchase it for three years with my code TomSpark2023, you can get three years for $70. So honestly, the power and convenience of this, I think is worth it. Check it out, guys. Let me know if you're interested down in the comments down below, and I'll see you again very soon.